Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Cherise from Cherise's English. Today, we're gonna learn English with Meghan Markle. Without further ado, let's get started. What we thought it might be. Yeah, which is, that's what, that's what I'm yeah, trying to get. Yeah, I mean, like, I didn't fully understand what the job was, mm -hmm. right? What, is, what does it mean to be a working royal? What do you do? What does that mean? I knew that he and I were very aligned on all of our cause-driven work. Mm -hmm. That was part of our initial connection um, and what we talked about in our the beginning of our courtship. What does it mean to be a working royal? What do you do? What does that mean? I knew that he and I were very aligned on all of our cause-driven work. Mm -hmm. that was aligned on. Aligned on. If two people are aligned on something, it means they think the same way about it. They agree on it. Example, we make good work partners. We are aligned on a lot of things at work. So it's easy to have an image of it that is so far from, from reality. And that's what was really tricky over those past few years is when the perception and the reality are two very different things. So it's easy to have an image of it that is so far from from reality. Far from reality or far from it. If something is far from reality or something is far from it, it means it is not true. Example, the hamburger looked so good in the advertisement, so I went to McDonald's to order one. Let's just say it was far from reality. It was far from it. When the perception and the reality are two very different things. Perception and reality are two different things. It basically means what you think about something and what it really is are two different things. They're not the same. Example, before meeting Sarah in person, I thought she was a kind and caring girl, but perception and reality are two different things. When you are brought in to meet the mother or the grandmother, mm -hmm. and you yes. know, the grandmother is the matriarch, mm -hmm. uh, and no, in her your situation, it's the queen the real queen are you worried about making the right impression um there wasn't actually a huge formality the first time i met um her majesty the queen i um there wasn't actually a huge formality the first time i met um her majesty the queen i formality formality basically means rules or tradition if you say there isn't much formality, um, you're saying that something is not too formal or too serious. Example, I had a meeting with my boss yesterday for the first time. He was so friendly. There wasn't a huge formality. Or there wasn't much formality. Aaron and I are in the car and he says, okay, well, my, my grandmother's there, so you're going to meet her. Oh, great. I love grandpa. I loved my grandmother. I used to take care of my grandma. This is great. He goes, right, do you know how to curtsy? What? He said, do you know how to curtsy? Now, I thought genuinely that that was what happens outside. Yeah. What? He said, do you know how to curtsy? Curtsy. If a girl or a woman curtsies or gives a curtsy, she lowers her body briefly bending her knees and holding her skirt with both hands as a way to show respect for someone important. I don't think that's what happens inside. And yeah. I said, but it's your grandmother. He goes, it's the queen. Wow. And that was really the first moment that the penny dropped. So to then go, did you Google how to curtsy? No, we were in the car. And that was really the first moment that the penny dropped. The penny drops. If the penny drops, you suddenly understand something. For example, I couldn't understand a thing in class today, so I asked a friend for help. As she was explaining the concepts to me, the penny suddenly dropped, and I was able to finish my homework with ease. Thank you guys so much for coming back again to watch my video. I'll keep making more videos for you guys. 
、um, and until next time, bye. I got so much back, I think I'm never running out. Yeah, bust me down a little bit, I don't do 